we are going to Fossil Creek Springs today and it's already been an adventure getting here. So this video is going to actually detail how you get there, how difficult it is, what vehicle you should be thinking about bringing and how long it's gonna take because I really found, I only found misinformation on the internet. And now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, I could have been more prepared. Now I, I did over prepare, so I feel like I'm gonna be okay either way. But I drive a Nissan Altima and I'm like, I'm just gonna risk it. And maybe that wasn't the brightest decision, but so far everything is good. I'm hoping it stays good, <sighs> but will it be worth it? That's gonna be the determining factor because I'm the furthest, we got the last parking permit reservation area. So now from here where I am parked, I am going to take the bike on the back of the car and bike three and a half miles to the trailhead. <laughs> But first, let's start back at the beginning. You're gonna start this journey by first traveling to the trailhead. Now we're coming from Phoenix, so we stopped at Camp Verde at Thanks a Latte before continuing to the infamous 14 mile gravel road leading to Fossil Creek Trailhead. This is where the internet failed me. Our goal was to go here, Fossil Creek Dam, which is accessible from two points, which I didn't know at the time. If you want to go to Fossil Creek Dam, I would suggest getting a permit for Bob Bear Trail, which is located on the other side of Fossil Creek near Strawberry. Getting to Fossil Creek Dam will be challenging regardless of which trail you choose. The trail to enter from the west side is called the Flume Road Trail and is 9 miles out and back with 1300 feet of elevation gain. This trail is not maintained and provides no shade from the sun. We quickly turned around after realizing there is also no stream access along the entire thing. If you were able to easily access this trail and park at the trailhead, I would consider this hike, but after spending over an hour driving over Washboard Road and then biking uphill three and a half miles, it's not exactly a safe option. The east entrance to Fossil Creek Dam is called Bob Bear Trail and is a much more popular option primarily because there is only one parking lot and it's right at the entrance of the trailhead with no long gravel road to fight with to get to the parking lot. This trail is 8.4 miles out and back with 1,500 feet of elevation, but if you do opt for this trail to access Fossil Creek Dam, you will want to make sure that you reserve some energy for the hike back to the trailhead because you will be ascending most of the 1,500 feet of elevation coming back to the parking lot. The cool thing about Fossil Creek is that it runs about 14 miles long with 7.5 miles of it being open for recreational use. After the disappointment of realizing hiking to the dam wouldn't be feasible, we were expecting for the day to be a bust, but it was far from it. We ended up making our way to Fossil Creek Falls, which is only 2.6 miles out and back from parking lot number one with only 250 feet of elevation gain. This trail runs along the creek and provides endless opportunities to jump in the water and cool off, and we spent the entire day here just splashing around and enjoying the lack of cell service. This trail is much more family friendly and we saw both young children and pets while exploring the area. Whether you're going to Fossil Creek Dam or Fossil Creek Falls, make sure to bring sturdy water shoes like Tevas or Chacos because it's a long way from any emergency services if you were to cut your foot open. There's also no self service to call in case of emergency either, so make sure you are coming prepared. You can already see from above how blue the water is, but I would also recommend bringing goggles to swim around and check out the water and the fish from below. <laughs> like I said just a minute ago, you can get in the water at any point along this trail, but the namesake of the trail, Fossil Creek Falls, is at the end, so you'll want to keep going until you find it. Along the way, you're going to cross a small bridge that suddenly spits you out into what looks like a tropical forest, and then shortly after that, you'll arrive at Fossil Creek Falls. This waterfall is stunning to just look at, but a really cool feature is the cave found behind the waterfall where there's tons of plant life and just an amazing waterfall right over you. There's also caves around the area as well. And there's cliff jumping areas as well that require some scrambling to get up to. All parking lots to access Fossil Creek, including Bob Bear Trail, require a permit from April 1st to October 1st. Permits can be purchased at recreation.gov and open at 8 a.m. Arizona time on the first of the month prior to the month you are wishing to reserve. 
So if you are wanting to go at any point in August, you would be able to reserve your permit starting at 8 a.m. July 1st. These reservations do go fast and you'll want to make sure you're reserving lot one, two, or three to have the best experience. This is the car situation. So obviously the dent was already there. That was not caused by the trail, but this dirt is literally just from driving out here and it's pretty, it's pretty nasty. It's pretty gnarly. Um, there are literally car parts like scattered on the road at places. So just be careful. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my driving abilities. That's why I'm like, I'll risk it. Also, I'm going to be getting a new car soon. So I'm not too worried about like destroying the car. Obviously I don't want to completely destroy it or get stranded out here, but it's not to the concern where I'm like, I don't want to hurt my car at all. Like I'm okay with a few scrapes and bumps. Okay. That's, that's fine with me. So if you're not okay with that on your car, don't be, don't be bringing a car out here. You need a higher clearance vehicle. And the road is like freshly, freshly, what is it called? Maintained? Resurfaced. They have resurfaced the road fairly recently. So there's only like some points where it's very, very difficult for my car to get over. And that's the rocky parts. Um, but really the only other problems aside from that is just like the washboards of gravel. But other than that, it's pretty smooth. It's just such a long road and it takes a while to get out here. So with the car, you have to go slower. It's just maybe not worth it. But if you're really wanting to get out here, then that's maybe a different story. I dropped my friends off at the trailhead and it's probably been already 20 minutes, me just getting out here. And now I need to get back there and I'm on a, obviously on a bike. So that's not going to be as fast as a car. If you're an adventure freak, definitely this might be for you. But if you're more on the casual side, I would be cautious. Make sure you keep watching for some important information at the end of the video. Okay, so we just finished some swimming. I don't know if it'll be all our swimming. And now we are going to cook with the nice table that I have made. And this will be my first time using a little camp stove, so I'm pretty jacked. Um, I'm starving. The start of this hike didn't turn out good, but oh my God, the water is so beautiful. We, ha we didn't even make it to like the actual big waterfall that the goal of this hike was, but this one is also top tier for swimming. like this is how they keep people out after it's too late to come in so they've just boarded up the gate this one is to close the exit and this one to close the entrance and the ranger is no longer there and obviously there are these car spikes so um i am so i am just making my way back down to the parking lot it says gates open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you can't get in after 4 p.m. And I've heard that they are strict with that. Right now, we definitely will get out of here, but I, there's just, it's not worth the time management to keep filming just me talking when I can do that anywhere. Um, but I'm alive and well. We have absolutely no service out here. So don't expect to be communicating with your party if you guys separate, because it won't happen. Um, yeah, so I have about a mile more to bike down to our parking area, which is that road down there. This is where the ranger was. And then we can go. Look, I they've, you were already, like, they've caught up to me. <laughs> nice ride. <laughs> 
finally back to the vehicle. I'm sure I have the cutest head mark. Um, bike is back on. We're ready to roll out of here. Um, hoping everything is fine with the car, but of course I will report on that at the end of the video. So I'm just happy to finally be back here, but that water was pretty amazing. I'm honestly like, this was a good day a very good day. All right, and to wrap everything up, I just wanna reiterate, definitely do not come out and do this unless you get parking lot one, two, or three. While I was doing my research beforehand, I was also wondering why there was this road connecting the west side to the east side, but it wasn't open. And I found out when we got there that it is in horrible condition. It probably will never be opened again because the mountain is basically just falling apart. So don't expect to get to the other side from that road. Anything past that is honestly just far too long to walk. Even to the first waterfall that we ended up seeing, which is a lot closer to parking lot one, but this road is rough it's not fun to walk on there's no shade it's not something i would do unless you're going to do it right which is getting those first few parking lots or heading over to the east side going through strawberry arizona and heading to bob bear trail that trail is longer so be prepared it's more intense but you're not going to have as hard of a time getting to the actual thing itself as far as your car goes. That's just my opinion, but we had a great day. Uh, if I'm going to do this again, I'm definitely going to try the Bob Bear area because you can also head out to Strawberry, Arizona, which I have heard is amazing and beautiful and I really want to experience it for myself. So thank you guys for watching and if this was helpful, give it a like. If there's anything I missed that you guys think is important, make sure to leave it down in a comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye!